Why Camilla Parker Bowles Had a Poor Reputation Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to discuss why Camilla Parker Bowles was once considered the most hated woman in Britain. In this video, we will show you 15 facts about why Camilla Parker Bowles had a poor reputation and how she has tried to improve it. Let's get started. 1. Her Affair with King Charles One of the reasons why Camilla Parker Bowles continues to face negative public opinion is that her affair with King Charles III was seen as a betrayal of his marriage to Princess Diana. Before King Charles III's marriage in 1981, he and Camilla had a brief fling in 1970. They had to split up since Camilla didn't fit the royal requirements for marrying a prince. But soon after King Charles III's wedding, they rekindled their affair secretly. The media exposed their phone tapes and pictures. The public was outraged by King Charles and Camilla's actions. The affair did not only damage the reputation of King Charles III as the heir to the throne, it also casts a shadow over the institution of monarchy and its morality. Since Diana was widely admired and loved by the people, the affair had a devastating impact on Princess Diana's mental and emotional health. Camilla, on the other hand, was perceived as a homewrecker and a manipulator. According to the public, she used her influence over King Charles III to undermine his relationship with Princess Diana. They saw Camilla Parker Bowles as someone who wanted to secure her position in the royal family. Despite their eventual marriage and an official recognition, Camilla has not been able to overcome the resentment that her affair with King Charles III generated among the public. 2. Interviews Given by Princess Diana the late Princess Diana's interviews had a major role in Camilla Parker Bowles' negative reputation. Princess Diana, who married King Charles III in 1981, was aware of his infidelity. She spoke openly about it in several interviews. The interviews were highly publicized as they took place when she was extremely popular with the media. She famously said that there were three of us in this marriage, so it was a bit crowded and that she felt very let down by Camilla. Exposing the private turmoil of the royal family, these candid revelations had an impact on the public perception of Camilla. Many people sympathized with Princess Diana as they saw her as a victim of a loveless marriage and an undeserving betrayal. Camilla, on the other hand, was defamed as the woman who destroyed the fairy tale life of Princess Diana. The negative public opinion about Camilla Parker Bowles remained even after Princess Diana's tragic death in 1997. This even made it difficult for King Charles III to legitimize his relationship with her. He married Camilla almost eight years after Princess Diana died in 2005. 3. Media Portrayal of Her as the Homewrecker During her early relationship with King Charles III, the media's portrayal of Camilla as a homewrecker greatly damaged her image. Ever since the news of their affair broke out, Camilla has been subjected to intense criticism. Many people have criticized her for allegedly breaking up King Charles' marriage. Though the affair was two-sided, the media only portrayed her in a negative light. They accused her of being an exploiter who only wanted to marry for fame and riches. Camilla has faced harsh judgment from the press and the public, the tabloids often compared her unfavorably to Princess Diana. They even questioned her suitability as a future queen. Despite her efforts to win over the hearts of the people, Camilla struggled to overcome the negative image that the media had created for her. Even her eventual marriage and official recognition as the queen consort didn't help her much. Camilla's image was further tarnished when there were speculations about King Charles's involvement in the death of Princess Diana. Over time, Camilla has gained more acceptance, both within the royal family and the general public. 4. Camilla's Initial Appearances in the Public Camilla had a commendable journey from a commoner to a mistress to a respected member of the royal family. People saw her as a threat to Princess Diana. Right from their first appearance as the partner of King Charles III in 1999, Camilla faced hostility from the press and the public. Maybe this is the reason why she has always been seen keeping a low profile in public. Camilla, the queen consort, showed hesitation and nervousness in her initial appearances in public. She often used to avoid eye contact and smile awkwardly. Camilla has also faced hostile reactions from some of the crowds who booed and jeered at her. However, over time, Camilla gained more confidence and acceptance as she accompanied King Charles III to official events and engagements. She has overcome many challenges and criticisms with dignity. 5. 
public's love for Princess Diana. Princess Diana had a warm and charismatic personality that endeared her to the public. Many people around the world still remember the love triangle that caused so much sorrow. Princess Diana was an extraordinary woman who made a difference in many lives. She left behind a lasting legacy. Negative views of Camilla persist due to many factors. They prevent her from gaining the sympathy and respect of the public. One of the main reasons is her association with Princess Diana's pain. The media portrayal of Camilla as the villain contrasted greatly with the image of Princess Diana as a victim and a saint. It created a lasting impression in the minds of many people. Another reason is the tabloid scrutiny of minor things, such as her wearing a similar outfit to Princess Diana. These incidents were blown out of proportion. They were used to fuel the narrative that Camilla tried to replace Princess Diana. Camilla has often been overshadowed by the memory of Princess Diana. The public has even criticized her actions and appearance. A recent poll by Newsweek showed that only 40% of Brits have a positive opinion of Camilla, while 27% have a negative one. On the other hand, Princess Diana has gained a new generation of fans with her legacy of humanitarian work. 6. The Camilla Gate Scandal A Camilla Gate scandal was a public controversy that erupted in 1993. It was one of the most notorious events that tarnished the image of Camilla Parker Bowles. The Camillagate scandal exposed her affair with King Charles III while he was still committed to Princess Diana. The scandal broke when a transcript of a phone conversation between Camilla and King Charles III was published by the tabloids. It revealed intimate details of their relationship. The conversation was secretly recorded by an unknown source and later leaked to the press. The scandal caused a huge uproar. It damaged the reputation of both Camilla and King Charles III greatly. They were widely seen as adulterers and traitors. The scandal also intensified the sympathy for Princess Diana, who had publicly spoken about her unhappy marriage. The Camillagate scandal was one of the factors that led to the separation and eventual divorce of King Charles III and Princess Diana in 1996. It also made Camilla a target of public hatred and ridicule. Camilla faced hostility from the media for years. She had to endure being called names such as the Rottweiler and the Mistress. The scandal also affected her relationship with her own family, as their children were bullied because of her affair. 7. Everyone compared Camilla with Princess Diana. The biggest challenge Camilla had to face was the lasting legacy and popularity of Princess Diana. The late Princess Diana was widely regarded as a humanitarian icon. The public had a strong emotional attachment to Princess Diana. Their love intensified when she died tragically in a car crash. Camilla was often unfavorably compared to Princess Diana, both in terms of her appearance and her personality. She was seen as an intruder by some. Camilla had to overcome these negative perceptions and prove herself as a worthy partner for King Charles III, as well as a compassionate member of the royal family. She has also maintained a good relationship with her stepsons, Prince William and Prince Harry. She even embraced her role as a grandmother to their children, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, Prince Louis, and Archie. The Queen Consort Camilla has shown sensitivity and respect for the late Princess Diana's legacy. So for the years, she had tried to avoid any comparison or competition with her. But the British media never skipped a chance to bring a bad light on her. The tabloids went down to the nitty-gritty. They even used to compare Camilla's outfit similarities with Princess Diana. 8. Camilla's Initial Hesitation About Her Royal Duties Camilla Parker Bowles has faced a long and uphill war to try to win the hearts of the British public. Ever since her affair with the heir to the throne became public, she has been belittled by the media and the masses. Camilla initially shied away from the spotlight to avoid the scrutiny that came with her role as the future queen consort. In her early years as a royal, she looked reluctant to embrace her royal duties. She preferred to keep a low profile to avoid comparisons with the people's Princess Diana. However, over the years, she gradually stepped up her involvement in royal duties and charitable causes. She showed a genuine interest and commitment to supporting issues like literacy, animal welfare, domestic violence, and osteoporosis. Camilla has also developed a warm and friendly rapport with many members of the royal family. Despite these efforts, Camilla still struggles to overcome the negative perceptions that have plagued her for decades. Many people remain unconvinced of her suitability as a representative of the monarchy. 
but she has learned to cope with the media attention and criticism. Now, she looks more comfortable in public settings, even showing off her sense of humor. 9. Public Opinion Polls Public opinion polls have consistently revealed that Camilla is not very popular among the British people. They have always negatively shown her. Many polls have indicated that Camilla was unpopular and unsuitable to be the queen consort. Despite being married to King Charles III and carrying out many royal duties, she has struggled to win over the British public. These polls reflected the challenges that Camilla had to overcome to gain acceptance and respect from the royal family and the British people. For her affair aside, some of the other reasons for this negative perception are her lack of charisma and style compared to other royals. Also, how she got in the way of the succession of the monarchy. According to a YouGov poll conducted in March 2021, only 13 of respondents wanted her to become queen when Charles became the king. In the meanwhile, 41 preferred her to have a lesser title, and 28 wanted her to have no royal title. Moreover, only 41 of respondents had a positive opinion of Camilla, while 32 had a negative one. The absence of strong public opposition to Camilla being queen helped solidify her royal title despite poll results. The public perception of Camilla Parker Bowles has undergone a remarkable transformation since the days when she was called the most hated woman in Britain. 10. Camilla's Media Mishaps and Controversies Camilla has been at the center of many media mishaps and controversies. On April 8, 2005, news headlines were filled with skepticism as King Charles prepared to marry his longtime lover, Camilla. The relationship between the royal family and Britain's irreverent tabloids has remained strained, and Poids took delight in reporting a series of mishaps and conflicts surrounding the wedding. One tabloid even dared to publish a front-page photo portraying the bride-to-be as a horse. They even printed the headline Wedding Switch Forces Chass's old nag to miss the big race, time to hint at a scheduling issue that had been resolved between the wedding and the grand national horse race. Another media house called the Couple Boring Old Gits. This shows how the British media didn't accept Camilla at all and contributed to her bad reputation. She was unfairly blamed for the breakdown of King Charles III and Princess Diana's marriage. Camilla has spoken about how she had to learn to live with negative media attention in the 1990s. But the media mishaps have still not left Camilla. She faced a barrage of online abuse after the Queen passed away in September 2022. People on social media posted hateful messages. They even edited photos of Camilla and Meghan Markle, accusing them of being responsible for the Queen's death. These posts went viral on platforms like TikTok and Twitter. 11. Camilla didn't attend Princess Diana's memorial. Camilla did not attend Princess Diana's memorial service that marked the 10th anniversary of her death. This gave the public another reason to talk negatively about her. Camilla's failure to attend the memorial was interpreted as a sign of disrespect and insensitivity. Many people saw this as proof that Camilla did not care about Princess Diana's death. Camilla was invited by Princes William and Harry, who organized the service. She decided to withdraw after facing public criticism and media pressure. Camilla said in a statement that she wanted to support the princes, but she believed her attending the event could divert attention from the purpose of the occasion, which was to focus on the life and service of Diana. Although Camilla's intentions were good, some people argued that Camilla should have attended the memorial as a sign of respect. 12. The royal family took time to accept Camilla. King Charles III and Camilla's relationship has been one of the most controversial ones in the history of the British monarchy. The couple had to overcome many obstacles before they could enjoy their life together. One of the biggest hurdles they faced was the acceptance of the royal family, especially from the late Queen Elizabeth II and late Prince Philip. The royal family was initially opposed to King Charles and Camilla's relationship for several reasons. First and foremost, they rightly disapproved of their affair, while King Charles III was still married to Princess Diana. Secondly, they feared that Camilla would not be suitable as a future queen consort, as she was divorced and had a tainted reputation in the media. Lastly, the royals were worried that their marriage would damage the image and popularity of the monarchy, which was already suffering from a series of scandals and crises at that time. However, the royal family eventually gave their blessing to King Charles and Camilla's union. After her marriage, it took time for Camilla to win over the late Queen Elizabeth II. According to royal expert Katie Nichol, 
The late Queen Elizabeth II once referred to Camilla as that wicked woman, but she eventually warmed to her. Queen Elizabeth's decision to name Camilla as Queen Consort was a surprise move to show support for her. 13. Princess Diana's Thoughts About Camilla Princess Diana was an extremely popular and beloved royal family member. One of the most famous incidents where Princess Diana criticized Camilla was when she confronted her at a party in 1989. According to a secretly recorded tape that Princess Diana made for her biographer, she told Camilla that she knew about the affair and that she wanted her husband back. Another time Princess Diana criticized Camilla was in a televised interview in 1995. She said that there were three of us in her marriage referring to Camilla. According to a well-known friend of Princess Diana, she called Camilla Rottweiler as a nickname. She thought that Camilla was like a dog because once she got her teeth into something, she won't let go. Princess Diana's thoughts about Camilla had a lasting impact on both their lives and the public perception of them. 14. Camilla's First Marriage Camilla Parker Bowles has been seen as a controversial figure ever since she became involved with King Charles III. Her first marriage and early life have also contributed to her negative reputation. Camilla was born into a wealthy and aristocratic family. She first met King Charles III when she was 23 years old. They had a brief affair, but King Charles married Princess Diana, who was deemed more suitable for the future king. Camilla married Andrew Parker Bowles, who was a cavalry officer. In 1973, Andrew Parker Bowles was reportedly unfaithful to Camilla, and their marriage was unhappy and strained. Camilla had two children with Andrew, Tom Parker Bowles and Laura Lopes. Camilla and Charles rekindled their relationship after their divorce. Camilla's divorce from Andrew Parker Bowles and her not thinking about her kids during the affair made people dislike her more. 15. Controversy Related to Camilla's Title The royal title of Camilla has been a source of controversy for many years. According to the law, the wife of a king automatically becomes a queen consort. However, when King Charles III and Camilla got married, it was announced that she would be known as Princess Consort when he became king. In 2022, the late Queen Elizabeth reversed the decision. She declared her wish for Camilla to be crowned as Queen Consort at King Charles's coronation. This sparked a new debate over whether Camilla deserved the title of queen or not. People questioned whether it would affect the popularity and legitimacy of the monarchy. Others criticized her for disrespecting Diana and breaking royal tradition. This brings us to the end of our video. Comment your thoughts below. Make sure to like and subscribe. See you next time.